Talk us through what happened that day. I went to the pub. She knew that I'd come. The last time I saw her, she'd been having second thoughts about the wedding, so I sat by the bar and I waited to see her, just to talk. I didn't know he'd be there. Ryan Connor. She had him under her spell too. Probably wound him up the way she had Osborne, saying that I was stalking or harassing him. Whatever. He saw me and he went into the back. Came back with this glass and he put it on the bar. Clear liquid. I stood up to see what it was and Daisy came in through behind him. I'm sure that she put him up to it. He picked it up as I got nearer and, uh, you know, I could just tell something wasn't right. His face, it was just twisted. Angry, but he was, he was careful how he held it. You know, it all just happened so fast, but he pulled back as if to throw and um, I reached up to, to push his wrist, but the glass, it sort of swung back towards him and he put his arm up to stop it, but it hit him. The liquid all over him. Um, it's just horrible, just horrible. I heard him scream and the glass, it just smashed and I panicked. I thought they might have some more, so I ran. I can still see it. Still hear it. He's gonna get away with this, isn't he? No. He is. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't listen. I couldn't watch. I couldn't. It's okay, it's okay. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for everything I am. How, how could he say that? I did it myself. How could he do that to me? Mike! Ryan. Mike! Justin wouldn't cope in prison. Did you know that they were going to say that the acid was mine? Well, it might have been yours. No, that it wasn't. I don't know, do I? I wasn't there. You know what Justin's like, though, don't you? Well, some things he said were true. She is manipulative. That's true, isn't it? You can't deny that. You listen to me! Right. No! You tell Justin. If he doesn't get sent down for this, I'm for him. Do you understand me? Do you understand? I know. Don't waste your breath on her. I've seen your family pump through enough. If I see you anywhere near my pub or our street, I swear you will regret it. What happened to honesty, eh? Tell him, Roy, that you read it. For Ruth's benefit. Mine, Roy's yours. <laughs> Roy's and yours. You two admitting that you're important to each other. Look, he wrote these letters for after his death. Well, he's alive, so the letter's done with. I never read it, he never wrote it. Oh, hi, come on. Hi, it's not even not heard from Roy yet. It's just that he's not replying to my texts. Uh, I'm on the way over to see him, and is he in Ward S6? Is that right? Yeah, he's alive, he's well, he's <sighs> tickety boo, and he's moved on. Moved on? Where? No, oh, wherever his gurney takes him. Uh, okay, right. Well, do you know if he needs anything? I think he has all he needs. Okay. I'll tell him he said hello. Thanks. See ya. See ya. Wherever his gurney takes him, what kind of thing is that to say? You're right. It's a bit American, isn't it? I should have said his trolley. Oh, come on, Freddie, let's get you some tea. There's a lad. Oh. 